Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is your friend Shinobi, and yeah, Samsung recently updated all of their smartphones to One UI 3.1, and I also got the update on my Galaxy S20 Plus. So this update generally includes the February security patch and a few minor upgrades that I'm gonna share with you in this particular video. So stay tuned till the end. Hit that like button, share this video with everyone, and uh, let's hit that intro. <laughs> Now starting off there are a few changes in the camera UI so as you can see here that now the live focus mode which was used in previous like Samsung phones is now changed to portrait which is more familiar and you also have the portrait video yeah both of them have been renamed so this is the first change that I saw and the second thing is that now you can select the frame rates and the resolution both from the camera interface itself you don't need to go into the camera settings to do that anymore which is very handy and uh, yeah you also have like an option to select what you want to take in the single take option now so that is handy but you don't have the director's view which was present on the s21 series i guess that is an exclusive and uh, yeah that's it for the camera section now the second thing which is added now is the object eraser in the gallery editor yeah you're right i have seen this feature on xiaomi phones in the xiaomi gallery app now this is here also and it is very handy so basically you have to go to any picture in your gallery and click on the edit button the little pencil okay and then just click on the three dots on the right hand side top then go inside labs that is a new option which is added go inside labs and just enable object eraser there then you come out from there and where you have all your editing options like the um, filters and stuff all that so at the end you will find the eraser option just select that and tap on any object on your screen or your picture which you want to remove and bam it's gone so very easy very simple and very useful now the third change which has been introduced here is that previously you had the blue light filter okay in Samsung phones now you have a new option called eye comfort shield so this is basically the same blue light filter thing with an added option of an adaptive mode which will change the temperature and uh, like setting of your display according to the day and time okay uh, according to the time of the day and the weather situations and lighting situations and stuff so it's basically like true tone which is found on iphones yeah that is thing which is added here other than it's just the same thing as blue light filter you can schedule it also if you want or you can keep it on adaptive i have kept it on adaptive and it works pretty well now the fourth change that i've seen that the devices and media tabs okay which were present on the notification panel previously when you like pull down the entire notification panel then only you are able to see it on uh, one ui 3 but yeah in 3.1 the devices and media tab have been added once again to the shorter notification screen so yeah they are easier to access another thing is that uh, now when you want to change the color of your folders now you can select from like the entire spectrum of colors instead of just the swatches which is pretty cool and yeah all these are the features which i got with my s20 plus so there is another thing uh, like you can now use your galaxy buds okay or the galaxy buds pro in order to get that 360 degree audio stuff but i don't have the galaxy buds pro with me so i can't showcase it to you so yeah that is uh, like a thing in 3.1 only so if you have 3.1 you can get that feature with the galaxy buds pros and also a uh, quick switch has been added with the galaxy buds so uh, when you are connected to your phone and tablet at the same time with your galaxy buds so it will like automatically switch between the devices depending on which device you're using which is very handy so this is also a great feature that is added in one ui 3.1 okay so samsung like has introduced the google now panel in the s21 series with one ui 3.1 but it is still not available on the s20 series as you can see over here it's still the samsung free and this also previously was samsung daily i believe yeah so samsung free is there no google home panel or google now panel as of yet that's a big bummer and uh, yeah apart from this there are a few things in like the calendar app and reminder app and all that so i don't really want to delve into that so you can extract your data from there now i don't really know about it so yeah i'm gonna skip that but yeah these are the major changes that you are seeing in one year 3.1 from even with 3.0 so yeah nothing that big but it's noticeable so yeah that's about it for this video 
and if you liked it then don't forget to hit that like button and also share this video with everyone that you know don't forget to subscribe to the channel to stay updated on my latest uploads and yeah with that said i'm your friend shinobi and i'm signing out peace